but he, he totally changed the chord there. We gotta find out what that is, you know. Hey everyone, this is Sean, and this is the channel where we serve gospel musicians and anyone who wants to learn gospel music and teach them everything you need to know about how to play gospel piano by ear. And last week, my video dropped right around the time that uh, the legendary Chick Corea passed. And as we know, his impact on jazz music and even modern music is just immeasurable. Um, even the great gospel organists and keyboardists that we know a lot of them admire and at, at some point in their lives have taken something from uh, Chick Corea. So let me know if you had grabbed anything from Chick Corea in the comments. I was scrambling to find a song of his where I just really wanted to share with you today and I found out that he played Overjoyed uh, by Stevie Wonder. And you know what? His dexterity and his voicings, even at an older age, were simply remarkable. So I decided to transcribe that song and kind of share with you some tips that I got from that song today. So, uh, And at the end, I want to show you a little secret that I think ties all of these together. Ah, right there. So I like what he did there, and this is not going to be exactly how he used it, but just for me, what I got out of that um, hidden with your pinky hit an A, hit an and left hand E flat, F. And and you have, you're really, it's really this chord, right? It's really kind of like a, it's kind of like an A minor seven flat five, but you're replacing the G with the F. But I like how he approaches the C from a half step below. And one of the things I thought about was using this in a song like, let's say, Amazing Grace. And what we would do is we would use this, see this A, this A is right next to this B flat here. So if I'm about to play a chord with a B flat in the bass, pro probably some kind of a sus 13 bracing, or maybe even, even, uh, maybe even a B flat minor nine, right? I can use that voicing to approach that. So um, so let's do, let's do Amazing Grace and E flat. Let's find out where we can use this. So. Right here. So that shows me a place I can use that. So that saves a wretch like me, right? And I was going to a B flat sus. So right before I play this, you know, we could have gone like me, but let's use our Chick Corea voicing. So, so we're trying to figure this out, right? And what we're doing is we're using the melodic minor, C melodic minor. We're starting on the leading tone, which is a B. We have our voicing in the left hand. Right, so, so that saved a wretch. You can still hit the F. Okay, so that's how I would use it. Really nice voicing there. Let's go on and see what else we have. This is an interpretation of Overjoyed by Stevie Wonder. Ah, right there. Y'all heard that? So, so this first part there. So see how this is the what I call the inverted dominant, where we have the seventh, the flat seven at the bottom of the chord. But I want you to listen how Chick Corea revoices that chord, right? Ah, right, so. Ah, so he replaces the inverted dominant 
with the spread diminished triad, which is a triad, okay? I like seeing it as a diminished seventh chord where the, that second note, the B is up top. Okay, in inverted, it would be like this. I can keep inverting it. Now, I did a presentation on this on my website. Really very valuable uh, presentation on how to understand and use a diminished sound. So if you're a member, log in and check that out because one of the first things we said in that presentation was that spread diminished triads and diminished chords in general, in gospel particularly, like to move to uh, minor voicings, right? So when he goes, Now he's going to this, or right, he's going to this minor sound. So someone's gonna say, well, how can we use that? Well, number one, he's approaching this G. He's hitting this G minor, a half step up. You play that diminished, spread diminished triad, half step above your minor chord. Or it could also be a half step below the minor chord. So let's do this, let's do another song. Um, let's do, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills. And let's use the chord voicing from tip one and this diminished sound here. But I think what I'll do is I'm gonna invert it and use this one. So check this out. So um, lift up my eyes. So. We're gonna get there. I'm trying to find out where. Here it is, I got it. And I'm, I forgot. Oh, here it is. So, check this out. So. He said he's gonna suffer the foot the foot to be moved. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he suffered that foot that foot to be moved. Here it is. Right, so that voicing right there. So for the, so here's what's happening here is that we have, so um, he, no one would go, for the Lord is thy keeper. Right, we, we hit that G because it's five above our target chord. Our target chord is the C minor. Now, now what we can do instead of doing G to the C, we're just basically going for the Lord is thy keeper. Okay, so we're just walking that up. So a lot of people when they would play that, they would just kind of do F chord, a G chord, and then D. Now, you know, we trying to get different chord voicings. And by the way, if you on that, you can do that, but on that G chord, Throw in a G sharp there and give you a little bit of dissonance. So if you want to use it that way, you can. So you can do that, give you a little bit of voice in. So that would be a F chord, G chord. Play that uh, G sharp on there. But what we're doing here is totally different. Got that Chikoria chord for the A chord. So instead of going to F, I'm doing. Right, so now I have the melodic minor going up. Diminished scale when I hit the B. Right, and then I go to my target chord, which is the C minor. So, right, so let's do that slow. He will not suffer thy foot.
And then we have this. So, um, so yeah, man. So a lot of a lot of things. So we we combine both tip one and tip two. We get all kind of voicings that from Chikoria on this just this one song, right? So let's check out. Um, yeah, that's that thing I like, man. Ah, right there. You heard that? So again, he could have went. He could have went C chord, which is the and had the B flat in the bottom, but he replaced the dominant with the spread diminished. I keep doing the wrong thing. <laughs> All you're doing is replacing the the. If, uh, if you want to make this really easy, it's just a triad. And all we're doing with this triad is taking this bottom note and moving it up a half step. So. Okay. All right, let's go for one, let's, do, let's find one more thing here that we can use uh, from this song here. So he's got a lot of stuff going on, but he, he totally changed the chord there. We got to find out what that is, you know, and something like that. And then something like that, right? So what's going on? Well, in the original song, we have this, um, give me some pads, Sean. I like that pad. I want to hear more of that pad. Where's my... No. See, it goes to this F. I want you to understand what he's doing on this chord here. He's taking this regular chord He's moving the whole thing up a half step. <laughs> okay, that's all he's doing. I mean, at the, I'm just trying to give it to you, the easy, what he's doing, just broken down, simplified all the way. So. <laughs> See? So, went up a half step, went up a half step. How's that gonna help me? Well, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, uh, <laughs> have to try a song what we can do this in. So, let me tie all these tips together because this is a perfect time for me to tie these together because we get, I'm kind of running up my time. And all of these movements, he's hugging the notes real close. In that first movement, the way, we had this movement, the A was a half step below that B flat. In the second movement, you had the spread diminished triad. Right, we got this approaching this, and now he's supposed to be playing an F sharp minor, but instead he's playing an F sharp sus, or F sharp minor nine. Okay, so what does this tell me? This tells me that I don't always have to use 5-1 resolutions, right? I don't always have to say, happy birthday, 5-1 to you, 5-1, which is what we're all used to. Chick Corea hugs the notes by going half steps, right? At least, in, at least in this particular song, in this version, you know, he's doing half steps. So that would sound like something like, um, 
happy birthday to see how see I'm right above the C, half step above. Right? So it just gives you ideas to experiment with because this is all this is, guys um, and ladies. We just, music is about experimentation and I'm just about trying new things. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas on how I like to look um, at this song. So if you have something that you saw from the video that I didn't possibly didn't cover, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and if you like a transcription of the song, I am going to do it as soon as I stop this video. I'm going to get the notes for you, put them on the screen. In fact, I'll probably play them as soon as I'm done with this so you can see the notes as well. Uh, so if you like a transcription of that, go ahead and check out Gumroad. And if you're a member, you can log in, of course. You're going to have that for free for everybody else. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Share the video as well. We want to see our channel grow. I'm going to be at 50,000, hopefully sometime soon. So we'll see you guys next week. Thanks again.